Hey guys, welcome back to another week of what's for dinner. So on this night, we had just came back from a trip and I hadn't made it to the grocery store yet and I had nothing planned. So luckily I found this bag of sloppy joes in the freezer that I had previously made. I make this recipe in the crock pot. It freezes great and it's so easy to make. I will have that recipe linked down below. I served it with some tater tots that I cooked in my air fryer. They are the Alexia brand in the roasted garlic flavor. And I also served it with a pickle on the side and that was our easy dinner for Monday. On Tuesday, I tried a new recipe for a creamy pork chop and rice casserole. And of course, I'm going to show you guys how I put it together. So I started off by heating up some vegetable oil into my skillet. And then I threw in my pork chops. I did season both sides with salt, pepper, onion, and garlic powder. And I'm just going to sear each side for a couple of minutes. I'm not trying to cook it through. It will finish cooking in the oven. I'm just trying to get that brown, crispy crust that makes them so delicious. After that step, I'm going to remove those to a casserole dish. I believe that's a 10 by 13. It does it say on the dish but that's what I'm assuming and then also my oven is preheating to 275 degrees so next to a medium saucepan I'm going to be adding in a can of cream of chicken as well as a can of cream of celery the recipe actually calls for cream of mushroom but we don't like that so I subbed for the celery and then I also added in some milk as well as some long grain white rice after I got that combined well I added in some black pepper the recipe didn't call for that but I think that black pepper makes everything taste better and then also the recipe called for a whole stick of butter but I don't think that we need that much butter so I just cut that in half and once that butter fully melted into the sauce I just poured that over top of the pork chops and then I kind of spread it around to make sure that rice got distributed well and then I covered it with tin full and baked it for two hours and guys let me tell you this was amazing if you are going to make anything from this video make this recipe we absolutely loved it as you can see the pork chops are just falling apart they were super tender that rice was fluffy creamy and flavorful i just can't say enough good things about it was my husband's birthday and he requested breakfast for dinner i either deleted the clip or just forgot to film my plate i'm so sorry about that but i have some sausage and gravy over biscuits with some fried bologna scrambled eggs and hash browns also made him a delicious cookies and cream birthday cake i filmed a whole video on this so i will have that edited and uploaded soon so be on the lookout 
On Thursday, I made some really simple French bread pizzas. So for the bread, I'm just using this garlic turb Italian one from the Walmart bakery. It's just a dollar, super affordable. So for one side of that, I'm just going to be layering it with some pizza sauce, mozzarella cheese, and pepperoni. And then the other side is going to be a chicken Alfredo version. So of course, some Alfredo sauce, some of this already cooked grilled chicken. And of course, I'll be using the mozzarella for that as well. And I'm going to cook that at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. So here is my plate. I took a piece from each. It's really hard to say which one I liked better because they were both so good. I don't think that I've ever made pizza like this before, but I'm definitely going to be doing it again because it was a huge hit. We just have a side salad over here that I drizzled with some ranch. I love how fast this meal came together and there is just so many different ways that you could top it. On Friday, I made this mini cheesy meatloaf sheet pan meal with green beans and potatoes. So I'm just starting off with some 90% lean ground beef and I'm seasoning that up with some salt, black pepper, and plenty of garlic and onion powder, followed by some Italian breadcrumbs. I think it was like two thirds of a cup, as well as some Parmesan cheese and an egg. I'm also going to be adding in a few tablespoons of just some plain old ketchup. And I'm going to get in there with my hands and just mix that until everything is well combined until it looks something like this. And then I'm just going to form that into eight little mini loaves and put that onto my cookie sheet. Next, I'm just going to be taking some cheese cubes. Feel free to use whichever kind that you prefer, but I'm just going to place that into the middle of each of the little loaves, and I'm going to form that meat around it. Um, I still had some of my cheese leak out, but it stayed right onto the meat. It didn't like dump out onto the cookie sheet, so it wasn't a big deal at all for us. But for the last step, I'm just going to be taking about a teaspoon of ketchup and just putting that onto each little loaf, and I'm going to take a spoon and just spread that all over the tops. And into a little mixing bowl, I just have some yellow potatoes that I have quartered, and I'm just going to drizzle that with some olive oil and season with some salt and black pepper. And then I'm just going to take out my spoon and toss that around for a little bit. And I'm going to dump that out onto one side of my cookie sheet. So into that same bowl, I'm just going to be doing the same exact thing with these green beans. So drizzling with some olive oil and seasoning with some salt and pepper. And I'm just going to toss that around with my hands. And then I'm going to place that onto the middle of the cookie sheet. And this is going to bake at 400 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. So here is my plate. I have two of the little mini loaves as well as a good serving of those veggies. I absolutely love this. This was so delicious. Meatloaf is always a huge hit, but when you make it into these cute little ones and stuff it with cheese, it's just amazing. So we had a weekend full of special little people's birthday parties. So that is where we had our dinner at. So first up on Saturday was sweet little Laney's second birthday party. At the food table, I chose a grilled hot dog as well as some barbecue chips and a Dorito taco salad, which was so good. And then on Sunday was Mr. 
Weston's first little birthday party. Um, we have some chili, peanut butter sandwiches, and some veggies with French dip. And that is going to wrap up this week. I hope that you guys enjoy the video and got some inspiration or found a new recipe that you would like to try. If you are new here, I hope that you'll subscribe. I put these What's for Dinner videos out every Monday, and I would love to have you here. So I hope that all of you have an awesome week. I just want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.